Hey you guys, so I'm back again with another message from the Lord. This message is um the second part to the other message. So there's two sets of people. Um God is telling some people that the battle was over, and then God is telling some people to fight. Um <clears throat> to strive and to fight. And basically, God has took me has take took me back to an old message that I had taught um a while ago in ministry. Um and so I'm going to read because I still had a note, y'all, to this day. This message is at least from like 2015, 16. Um, but I still had a note in my notebook. So God told me to go back. And I'm going to read y'all guys the notes that he had given me that I taught upon. And then I'm going to give y'all scripture. But the title of this message is Stand Up and Slay the Giant. And like I said, this is an old message. Okay, y'all. I was like teaching Bible school, vacation Bible school and everything. So this is what my note says. This week at Vacation Bible School, I had the opportunity of teaching the teenagers about putting on the whole armor of God. Ephesians 6 and 11 says, put on all of God's armor that you, that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies and tricks of the, of the devil. We discussed the six pieces of armor and how um, they protect us in battle. The belt of truth, honest. With God in ourselves, the breastplate of righteousness, being right with God, the shoes of the gospel of peace prepares us for the peace to come and share the good news. The shield of faith protects us against our weakness, weaknesses and endures, ensures that God will never fail us. The helmet of salvation protects our mind from ungodly thoughts. The sword of the spirit provides guidance through God's holy word. Without all Six pieces, the armor will not work. Now that God has equipped you for battle, it's time for war. Okay, so the scriptures that I'm gonna come from is first Samuel chapter 17. I'm gonna start at the 38th verse. Okay, and 38 and 40 says, Then Saul gave David his own armor and a bronze helmet. And a coat of ma coat of mail. David put it on, strapped the sword over it, and took a step or two to see what it was like, for he had never worn such things before. I can't go in these, he protested. Saul, I'm not used to them. So David took them took them off again. He picked up five full stones from a stream and put them into his shepherd's bag. Then armed, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> then armed only with his shepherd's staff and sling, he started across the valley to fight the Philistines. Physical armor will not work for you in this season, but only the spiritual armor of God. So stick to what you know. David had to stick to what he know. Okay. Um. Verses forty-one through forty-four. Goliath walked. Out towards David with his shield bearer ahead of him, sneering in content at this at this ruddy, ruddy faced boy. Am I a dog? He roared at David. That you can't that you come at me with a stick. And he cursed David by the name of his God. Come over here and I'll give you flesh, I'll give your flesh to the birds and wild animals, Goliath yelled. Your enemies just don't know what you are working with. Okay. They don't know what you're working with. All right. So verses 45 and 47 read to 47 reads, David ref replied, replied to the Philistine. You come to me with sword, spear, and gallon, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of heaven's army, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Today, the Lord will conquer you and I will kill you and cut off your head. And then I will give your dead bodies of your men to the birds and the wild animals and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. And everyone assembled here will know that the Lord rescued his people, but not with sword and spear. This is the, the Lord's battle and he will give you to us. 
When you put on the armor of God and come into battle in his name, God will do the rest. Okay. Verses 48 through 50 reads. I'm going to do 51 through 51. And Goliath moved closer to attack David quickly, ran out to meet him, reaching into his shepherd's bag and taking out a stone. He hurled it with his sling and hit the Philistine in the forehead. The stone sank in and Goliath stumbled and fell face down on the ground. So David trampled over the Philistines with only a sling and a stone, for he had no sword. Then David ran over. And pulled Goliath's sword from its self. David used to kill him and cut off his head. You will win the battle by simply using what you got and sticking to what you know. And I put, if I had to leave you with a topic, it will be to stand up and slay the giants. We are in a season where warfare is so great. Now it's time to put on the whole armor of God so he can go to battle on your behalf. Well, how can I put on the whole armor of God? You might ask. First, you must accept your sin. First, you must accept your sins and struggles. Second, you must believe that God is our savior. Third, you must confess your sins and struggles to God. Repent. Lastly, you must do it now before it is too late. OK. The enemy is out to steal, kill and destroy. He is out to kill the kill the baby that God has placed inside of you. He is out to kill sons and daughters, and he is out to kill you spiritually and physically. In order to overcome the enemy, it is time to stand up and slay the giant. I don't know about you. But the enemy has something of mine that I want back. What are the giants that you face today? Giants are not those things that giants are things that we struggle with that is unpleasing to God, such as sex, drugs, and alcohol. So, again, it's time to stand up and slay the giant. It's time to stand up and slay the giant of depression. It's time to stand up and slay the giant of oppression. It's time to stand up and slay the giant of poverty. It's time to stand up and slay the giant of jealousy. It's time to stand up and slay the giant of Jezebel. It's time to stand up and slay the giant of homosexuality. It's time to stand up and slay the giant of brokenness. It's time to stand up and slay the giant of um, that's trying to take your job. It's time to stand up and slay the giant of lust. It's time to stand up and slay the giant that's trying to take your position. It is time to stand up and slay the giant of witchcraft. A witchcraft and warfare. It's time to stand up. Stand up and slay the giant with God's word. Do you guys hear me? We should all know about know by the tricks of the enemy. However, we don't break the cycle because we want to stand up and slay because we don't want to stand up and slay the giant. All we have to do is to make a stand and God will do the rest. However, we do um, not make a stand. If we do not make a stand in this season, we will witness a lot of people dying spiritually and physically. Judgment is coming, y'all. So we, as God's people, must come together and we must stand, make a stand so he can do the rest. All right. Um, and we, like I said, we stand with how we fight the giant. We fight back the giant with God's word, saying things to yourself. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. That's in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Give the devil back God's word. Stand up and slay the giant with your prayers. Stand up and slay the giant with your praise. All right. And I put in this battle, we must remember to be encouraged because the battle is not ours, but it is the Lord. And God bless you all. You guys, I had taught this message years ago and God took me back to the same message. It's time to stand up and slay the giant in your lives, in your that's fighting you in the spiritual realm. It is time to stand up and slay the giant. We are in a new season. We are in a new year. Stand up and slay these giants because they're coming to stop, block, delay. And God is saying no more. Judgment is going to hit this land. So stand up and slay the giants and overcome. All right, you guys. I love you. Just want to come and share what God has dropped in my spirit. 
It reminded me of, and I was so surprised, you guys, that I still had these notes from years ago when I taught my my teenagers and youth and Bible basic education in Bible school. I still got my notes. But I, like I said, take this word back to God and confirm. But God is telling you guys to stand up and slay the giants, whoever this message is for. All right, you guys, I love you, and I will chat with you all later.